So like I said before, you could have done this in less steps, right? You don't have to show everything. I do write down every step so that you can see. Maybe if you did something wrong, you can see exactly where you went. Okay. So remember, if we have x's on both sides, what we need to do is we need to get the x's all on the one side and all the numbers on the other side. Okay, so what I did first was I said to myself, what is the opposite of subtracting for? And it did. So you can see I did that on the other side. But guys, this you can do in your head. All right, I think you are getting a bit more um, comfortable with doing equations now. So maybe you can try doing that step in your head. So you can say to yourself, I have a six here. Now the opposite of subtracting four is adding four. So I must add four to six. And we all know that six plus four is ten. All right, so you can just write two x on that side because now when you are adding four, you're getting rid of that minus two. Here we go again. So <laughs> three six. Then you have that x, and then the six plus four is ten. Your first mark will be for this line, guys. And like I said again, if this makes it easier, what you're doing is you write in that extra step. <coughs> then this x needs to be on that side, so on this side it's a positive x, right? So you need to say, what is the opposite of adding x, subtracting x? So on the other side, you're going to say 2x minus x, which is actually just x. So that is then equal to 10. All right, so this is actually just a two mark question, right? Even though it is quite complicated, even though you've had x on both sides. You know, if there are any questions on these, this one was quite similar. So the minus 10, what's the opposite of subtracting 10? Adding 10. You do that on the other side. Negative 4 plus 10 is positive 6. Now, what is the opposite of adding 5x? Subtracting 5x. So that's what you do on that side. 6x minus 5x is just 1x. All right, again, you'll get a mark for having that plus 6 there, and then you'll get a mark for x. We'll find it number two on the equation. Okay. okay, number three was a bit more complicated. There were more steps involved here. So first, the opposite of subtracting 22 is adding 22. Right? So we already had an 8 there. So what's 8 plus 22? 30. So that would be your first mark. Now you need to move this 4x. This 4x you want on the other side. So what's the opposite of adding 4x? Subtracting 4x, right? So you have 2x minus 4x, which is negative 2x. That would be your second one. Now, guys, what am I doing with the negative 2 on this side? If I have negative 2x, that means that I am? What am I doing? Yes. Negative 2x. Is it subtracting? Multiplying, hey, if the 2 now is a number and the variable on the street is next to each other, we actually multiply. So this is multiplying by negative 2. So when I move this, or when I want to do the opposite on the other side, I have to divide by negative 2. You can see I wrote it in both ways, guys. You can decide whether you want to write it with the division symbol or as a fraction. It's up to you. And then you must be careful. Now we must remember that positive divided by negative is a negative, and 50 divided by 2 is 50. So the answer there is negative. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move down so that you can see number four. Number four also had three steps. Opposite of adding two is subtracting two. But now you must be careful here, guys. The negative numbers sometimes get a bit complicated, right? You have a negative seven already, and now you're minusing another two from it. So you agree that that's negative nine. Negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, right? So that's minus nine then. Then here yeah, we have a negative x. That means that we're actually subtracting x on this side, guys. So what's the opposite of subtracting x? Adding. Right, so you have to add x on this. Yeah. Oh, I see. I left it. Oh, hey, thank you. No, I shouldn't. Okay, so these are all going to be negative. Thanks, Lila. All right, so that should stay in negative 9, negative 9, negative 9. 
Okay, I'll just give it a few moments. I'll leave it all around in the session. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Okay, guys, this is back to this quick year. Two is plus three is six. Okay, so that will be your second lot for that line. Now, what am I doing with this three over here? I'm multiplying by so the opposite of multiplying by three is dividing by. All right, and now again we have a negative number divided by a positive number is a negative, and nine divided by three is three. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. All right, we're trying to number four, guys. Sorry about that mistake there. Okay, number five. If you missed anything, just let me know and I can show you the end. So in number five, six, and seven, there was a lot of stuff going on, but it was actually just lots of calculations. All right, so I'll show you now another way in which you could have done it. But what I did was I just said to myself, okay, this plus 25, I don't want. What's the opposite of adding 25? Subtracting 25. Okay, so I left everything else exactly as it was, and I just put a minus 25 there. Again, I'm, I'll, I just said okay, there is another way of writing it out. I'll show you now. So then I'm calculating 35 minus 15 is what? 35 minus 15. 20, hey. So now I'm saying 20 minus 25. What's that? Negative 5, right? So that negative 5 is what you get when you actually calculate all three of those numbers. Okay, so that would be your first mark, guys. Actually, it would probably be two marks for that because you have to work with three numbers and you have to do the opposite of make up positive 25. So I think that would be worth two marks. Now, do I want this 5x on this side? No, I want all my x's on that side, right? So what is the opposite of adding 5x? Subtracting 5x. Okay, so that's what you do on the other side. 15x minus 5x is 10x. So that would be your third mark. And now, guys, we must be careful here. I think lots of people might say, okay, I'm going to do 10 divided by negative 5, right? Because that gives you a whole number. And we all love when we're getting a whole number as an answer. But we need to just be aware here. I'm saying x times 10. So what's the opposite of multiplying by 10? Dividing by 10. So we have a negative 5 on the other side. So we actually have to say negative 5 divided by 10. Not 10 divided by negative 5. Okay, it's negative 5, which is here, divided by this 10. Now, guys, you could have written it like this if you wanted to. Negative 5 divided by 10. But can I leave my answer like that? No, I have to leave it in fraction form, right? Simplify fraction form. So we did discuss this on Friday. We did an example where your answer wasn't giving you a whole number. You guys remember that I didn't take write it as a fraction so that you can simplify that fraction. I can't remember now which example it was, but we did do one. So five, ten doesn't go exactly into five. So you have to leave that as a fraction. What's the negative divided by positive? Negative. So you see, I put my mind there in front. And 5 over 10, that's a half, right? Which time is that? Yeah. Wait. Okay, I'm going to take some like this. And the only days I can find the line. I'm going to mark it. Oh, if you get on the negative 5 over 10, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, the other way of writing it, which I was saying I'll show you just now, I'm just going to zoom out a bit so that I can put it in here. Do we agree that on this side we don't have any like terms, but do we notice that we have like terms on this side? 25 minus 15, we can actually work that out. So guys, if you see that that's happening, 
You are allowed to first simplify. So first add or subtract whatever you can before you start doing opposite operations. Some of you might prefer that. So I'll just show you. You can leave your 15x plus 25 here. And that is then equal to what is 35 minus 15? 20 plus 5x. Right, then you just have a little bit less going on. It seems a bit less than that. Okay. Now from there you will say, all right, I'm just now minus 25. So I'm going to do my 15x equal to 20, which I have on that side, minus 25 plus 5x. So instead of keeping that 35 minus 15 to the next line, you're basically just working it out first. Okay, you don't have to, you can do it like that if you want to. I don't know if anyone did, but anyone actually do that first. All right, so that's fine. So now from the next line on, it's going to be exactly the same, because now you're going to have 15x equal to 20 minus 25 is now negative 5 plus 5x, which is exactly what we had here. Okay. And that was the case for seven, 6 and 7 as well. You could actually simplify, I'll show you now for number six, you could simplify on that side and on that side before starting to do the opposite operation. Okay, but we'll just first look at my answer here. What I did was I looked for the number on this side because I don't want the number here, right? So that's minus four. What's the opposite of subtracting four? Adding four. Okay, so there's my adding four on the other side. Now what's nice here, guys, is five x plus x is just six x, right? We remember that from previous terms. Now let's look at the numbers. 8 minus 6. What's that? 2 plus 4 is 6. Okay, so this 8 minus 6 plus 4 is 6. So that's where that could came from. <coughs> and now the negative 2x, which is on this side, I don't want it there. I want all my x's on the other side. So now you need to say what's the opposite of subtracting 2x? Adding 2x. We're going to say 6x plus 2x is 8x. And again here, guys, does 8 go exactly into 6? No. So you have to write it in fraction form and then simplify that fraction. Okay, so I'll write that on the side. 6 is not divisible. By eight, therefore, right answer in fraction eight. So just add that there, guys. If you write three divided by four as your final answer, you're actually not going to get that wrong. Okay, you know, have to keep your answer. <laughs> and you can move down a bit so that you can. Are there any questions on six? Then? Who got three or four for number six? Right, if you went wrong, just make sure that you know where you went from, hey? That's why we're marking. Make sure that you, and if you can't find your mistake, just come show me or after the general how you do. I'll try and find it. Okay, so now the saving guys, saving was a bit strange because your answer is actually zero, which I think may have put some of you off of it, but zero is a number, right? X will just be a number, and zero is a number, so it's possible to get zero as your answer. Okay. We're going to go through this again, step by step. Now, what's happening here is you guys notice that we have two numbers here. So I need to get rid of both of those. So what is this nine? Is this a positive nine or a negative nine? Positive, right? So I'm adding nine here. So I have to subtract nine on the other side. You see that it's over there, minus nine. Then this minus 15, I'm subtracting 15 on the other side. I'm going to have to add 15. Okay, so both of the numbers, I did the opposite operations of on the other side. Then what I did was I looked at all of the numbers that I had. Now there were quite a few here. We have negative 6 minus 9 plus 15. And I want negative 6 minus 9. 
Because when you think about number line, you add negative six, now you've got nine spaces backwards. That's actually negative 15. Right, so negative six minus nine is negative 15, and now you're adding 15. What's that? Zero. Okay, so I wrote a plus zero there, but guys, you actually didn't have to. Right, you can just leave that out. You just don't have an answer there. Okay, but maybe you write the plus zero just for now. This is the first time that we've seen something like this. Okay, so we sorted out the numbers. We still have x's here that I don't want here. All right, now what am I doing with this minus? Is this a plus or a minus in front? Yeah. Plus, so I'm adding 90 from this side. On the other side, I must minus it. Minus 15x, I'm subtracting 15x. On the other side, I must add 15. Okay, always the opposite operation. Now, remember, if you're left with nothing there, it's just zero on that side. But you can't just write equals and then leave it blank. Okay, you would have to put that zero again. Okay, have that. Because if we leave it blank, I'm not going to know is it a zero or did you just not know what to write there? Okay, so you have to show me because it's not going to work that it is zero. Ooh, <laughs> okay, now we need to simplify this, right? Negative 3x minus 9x is what? Negative 3 minus 9. Negative 3 minus 9. Almost there. Negative 12x. Okay. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12x. So we have negative 12x. Now we add in 15x. Positive 3x. Right. There we go. 3x is equal to 0. Now, guys, what am I doing with 3 over here? I'm multiplying by it. On the other side, I must divide by it. Right? 0 divided by anything is just 0. Okay. So I wrote there 0 over 3. You also could have written 0 divided by 3 if you want to. Does that not okay? So then 0 divided by anything is 0. Yes. So that's always these extra steps that I'm putting in where you're showing like the movement. You're showing the opposite operation. You don't actually have to show that. Okay. But guys, as I gave you just for text and exams, if you're not certain, if you're not sure whether you have to show a set, rather show it. Okay, play it safe. So maybe you're unsure, you don't know, do I have to write the set down? Am I going to lose a mark if I don't write it down? Just write it down. Okay, just keep my face. Okay, any questions? All right, yes. What's Marks, let's see. So it would be. Mm -hmm. Two marks for getting to the zero. So it's a, a big calculation and it's a, an opposite operation. Then a mark for getting to 3x equals zero and a mark for the opposite. Okay, guys, we are going to do two more sections today.